Hey guys, welcome to my page. Jennifer West Granhan here. I wanted to share with you a couple of tools that I know will be extremely helpful, especially if you're a newbie wholesaler, okay? <clears throat> and panicking whether or not you're going to be able to find cash buyers, which, to be honest, finding a cash buyer, as I mentioned before, is the easiest thing to find, okay? Just a matter of your strategy, what you're doing. And I'm going to show you two tools tonight to use, and you could guys, you guys get up and running. ASAP okay so one of the tools is find cash buyers now and excuse the nasal voice okay I have a bit of a cold flu situation going on and if you hear some growling in the background that's my puppies playing around okay so as you could see, this is a super duper easy tool to use you could search by county you could search by city you could search by zip okay every state right here it has a pre-selected date range right here, but you can put whatever you want. It has the standard or default, which is six months back. You could choose the owner profile, whether they live um, in-state or outside the state. And then the advanced, the advanced filters allow you to select the number of properties they purchased, the sales price, the property type whether it's commercial or residential so if you're a newbie you're probably just gonna select residential okay so let's do a quick search so you could see how to get rolling on this so I'm just gonna select New York that's where I am and I'm going to select um, Suffolk County that's where I am but I'm working in other markets too so remember this allows you nationwide so if you're a virtual wholesaling and you have a boots on the ground person and you want to give them access to this tool <coughs> or you know you could this is this is great for you know if you're working in your state or out of state okay so Suffolk County owner profile lives out of state now I'm going to choose all and number of properties I would say at least two or three because that will let you know that they are an investor and for the sales price that's what you have to do your due diligence okay you have to know what the prices are going for in that area what they're buying them for okay so it really depends on your market like in my market the hoodie areas you know you could bet get for a hundred K or less or if you're going in the um, middle class areas I mean you it ranges you could go from the mid 200s to the mid 300s to even you know 400s it just depends so just for the sake of the search let's just do to uh, 200 okay we'll click off commercial we're gonna focus on single family and we are going to search okay so now let it do its thing it's just compiling the information don't click double click triple click <clears throat> just let it compile and gather the information okay this is a great tool. You guys are going to love it. It's magic. Okay, so look at the Suffolk County is a big county. Now, mind you, you can choose zip code, okay? I just chose the whole county for the sake of this training video. So it has 513 cash buyers in the last six months, okay? And then it shows you the owner address, and then it shows you the property address that they purchased at, okay? They purchased two properties, okay? So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. This person purchased four properties, okay? The property address, this one's West Hampton Beach. They live in New Rochelle, New York, okay? This person lives in Deer Park. They purchased property in West Islip. They pro purchased 11 properties, okay? So you know, you could pick and choose the people who you want to send to, or if you just wanna go ahead and send to the whole list, okay? So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna check them all, <coughs> okay? And you could go to print my letters, and it gives you more options here, okay? So right here, you have where they could just do your letters for you, have your letters mailed for you, done and done, okay? Or you could print your own letters, okay? So if you're on a shoestring budget and you have, just wanna buy envelopes and stamps, you do this method, okay? I've done this method for so long, and sometimes I actually still do it because I wanna handwrite my envelope because I want people to open it. Okay, because you don't just want it a pretty mail and people throw it out. You know how junk mail is. You just go junk, 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 and call it a day. Okay, so this is where you update your info, your 
name of your company, your 800 number, your Google voice number, whichever one you're using for cash bars. If you have an identity one, um, you could upload your signature and your logo right here. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, this, this really, <coughs> this really could not get any easier. Okay, so then if you go next, it lets you look through the letters. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, you have choices what type of letter you want to choose. If it's a commercial, we're not doing commercial, investor, cash buyer, version one, version two. You can look through them. You know, potential private lender, but let's stay focused because we're just we're doing cash buyers, okay? And then you can go through your letters just to make sure everything's pre filled, it's all good. Okay, and then you go to print your own letters. Proceed and you have a monthly of 10,000. Okay, and then you're good to go. You print them out, stamp them, mail them, call it a day, or you let the company do it for you for a fee. Okay, it's up to you. You have choices. Everyone loves options. I love options. You love options. We all love options. Okay, now tool number two is Realflow. Okay, Realflow has a lot of different lead sources. Okay. As you can see from here, it has cash bars, it has rent, it has private money, absentee owners, bankruptcies, free and clear, hard equity, low equity, pre foreclosures, probates, tax liens, upside down. It's like so much. It's like, woo, it's crazy. Okay, so for this, we're looking for cash buyers. Okay, now this shows you the last sales date. Okay, so you might want to go back three months, six months, last year, two years. For the sake of the search, we'll go back three months. Okay? We're going to stick to New York. We will stick to a uh, different county this time. Let's do Nassau in uh, Suffolk, in uh, on Long Island. Okay? Last time we did Suffolk. So we'll do search. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. 528 results in Nassau. If you want to do the whole county, that's not bad. Or if you want to do particular cities, say you have a property locked down in Levittown. Levittown, boom, okay? And, I mean, you could boil it down to owner detail, if they where they live, um, if it's owner-occupied, absentee in-state, absentee out-of-state. You could fill in the loan-to-value. You could fill, fill in the owner types, which we want individuals usually, okay? Excuse the nasal voice. I am a little bit sick. And let's update this to just Levittown, okay? Say you have a deal now and you just want to get rid of a deal that you have in Levittown. <clears throat> okay, so in Levittown, we have nine cash buyers, okay? So what you could do is now you select the page, okay? Scroll up, and you create a campaign. Selecting, name the campaign, you know, Levittown, Levittown House. Levittown, send one mailing, next, okay, cash buyer, you have, you know, a, a yellow letter, five by five to choose from, eight by five, or personally penned, you could choose to, to text, the, the stationery, the, uh, the content, okay, you have four choices, and you could choose for first class mail or standard, which is cheaper, and look, thirteen bucks to send it to those to those nine buyers. Okay, and one of those may be your buyers. They're gonna buy your deal. Okay, and all you do is send it out, or you print them. And this you could export it to a CSV file and print out your own letters. Okay, so you have the choice. So you either have Realflow or you have Cash Buyers. Um, find Cash Find Cash Buyers now. Okay, so those are two tips. You know, I went over other ways to find cash buyers in my previous videos, but if you guys have a little extra money and you want to invest in some tools for your business, choose either or, okay? Or you could get both. Finding cash buyers is a one-time fee. You have it for life. Real Flows is a subscription, okay? So, and you know, it has more... It has more things in Realflow. It has, you know, a CRM in it. It has websites that you could create. I mean, this is really a one-stop shop where you could use for your whole business, okay? This is just literally just finding cash buyers, okay? So it's up to you. You do whatever works for you, and but you have to take your business seriously and get tools that help you, and you guys are setting yourself up for success, okay? So have a great night. I hope this helped you guys. 
Um, subscribe to my page for more tips and for more training videos. Um, email me if you're interested in mentoring. Um, I'm only looking for people who take action, okay? You can't be stuck on frozen, stuck on stupid. I got to keep it real. This is an OBS zone. You guys already know me if you've already been following me. And um, that's all she wrote. So for now, peace out. Keeping it real wholesaling. Jennifer S. Granahan here. And uh, I'm out. I got to take my cold meds and uh, go to sleep. So peace out. Assalamu alaikum. I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.